Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me and I'm going to be using this new sticker book from Wrong Wrong. This one is called Grateful Heart and this is a new sticker book and she did a collaboration with Amy Tangerine. All right, so I'm really excited to do this plan with me with you. Here's the back of the sticker book. On the back, it does have a little bit about Wrong Wrong and about Amy. Now, Amy is known for her lettering, so we're going to see her lettering in here, and of course, we're going to see Wrong Wrong's beautiful um, illustrations. All right, so I do have a detailed flip through of this sticker book already out so you could go ahead and take a look at that but I'll just give you kind of like a quick flip some of the stickers are obviously already missing because I've pulled them for this plan with me already all right so let's go ahead open up my planner I'm going to be using my wrong wrong planner and I have it housed here in my Notique cover. I love the way it fits in here if you um, haven't seen this I do have it in this planner cover and the planner cover has three slits in the back here and it fits perfectly in the center one so if you decide to get yourself a notique planner cover for your wrong wrong planner then i just wanted to share that with you because i know sometimes you want to be um you want to make sure that your stuff fits right all right so let's go ahead open this up we're going to be doing the last week of fall this is actually going in i'm filming kind of ahead of time but um yeah so this one is going to be the last week of fall that i'm going to do so i'm going to take those pages out because i have to take my pages out of my planner it's just so much easier for me to work with all right so we're looking at the week of September 26th going into October, October 2nd. Oh my goodness. So excited for this fall season. How about you guys? All right. So the uh, Grateful Heart sticker book has got a fall and holiday theme in here. So let me open up, give you a little bit of an idea of what you're looking at. Really, really pretty. And I've already used, like pulled the stickers from here that I'm going to use for this spread, but I just wanted to give you an idea. And then it goes into more of like holiday, like definitely Christmas and holiday cheer and all of that. And then it does have um, quotes in the back. So lots of wording from Amy Tangerine. And then of course we've got uh, Wrong Wrong's beautiful illustrations in here to complement that. So it's a very pretty color palette. Um, the stickers that I pulled for this week are going to be very traditional colors in here. So I am not going to need this purple box here. I do like to put a weekly checklist on the side here. I do use my habit trackers and I will put a decorative box up here or something decorative. So for what I pulled for the sidebar are these three items right here. So I'm going to use this box to go ahead and start covering up the purple box because the purple color is not going to match with the color scheme that I have chosen. All right, so let me go ahead and lay this down. I wanna lay it down straight, so I'm going to turn the page here and I'm gonna line it up like at the bottom of the purple box because I don't want any of that coming through. Um, that looks good. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to put this box here. Um, Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. And I want to cover up the purple, so I'm going to bump that right up against here. And I think that that'll look really nice because it's got that floral element there. And it's going to also cover up what I need to on the top. And um, yeah, I love the way that looks. Now, I do want to cover up the habit tracker. I'm going to use the habit trackers themselves, but where it says habit tracker, I just want to cover that. And I really like these, um, like they're, they're stickers, but they're like washi strip stickers. That's what I call them. And I thought that this would be really cute right here. And I want to get like this little area, this little flower in here, because I really, 
I like that. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to actually trim it down to match the boxes. So I'm going to use my knife here. And what I like to use, I picked this up. This is actually from Recollections. It's really small. It's probably, uh, what is this, five by um, eight. It's a perfect size mat to use for cutting things like this because it gives you like that protection underneath so you don't, like if you cut through, then you don't damage like your tabletop at all. But I just really uh, like this mat and it's, like I said, it's perfect. I did pick up one from before and, and it was just like way too big. I mean, I still have it, but it's just, it's too big. I'm like, oh, it takes up like way too much. So I'm just gonna trim these down because I just don't want it to exceed. And then I have my tweezers that I love. I love my tweezers. All right, so that actually completes the sidebar. All right, so here's some more stickers that I pulled uh, for this side. And I am going to take this long strip, this long like washi strip sticker. Let me actually make it a little straighter here because otherwise I think it's gonna be weird. And I wanna cut it in half. I wanna um, like slice it down the center to give myself more of a um, thinner strip of like a, a washi strip. So. I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna fold it in half because I wanna make sure, oh, I don't know if it's necessary. I think that's good enough. Let's see if that kind of helps me out. Cause like I said, I really wanna get it down the center. So I think what I'll do is, I think I'll just draw a line. So let's see, let me measure this. All right, so that is the center. All right, so hopefully this cuts even, because I did try to measure it there. And this side looks a little bit thicker, but I'm okay with that. It's, at least it's straight. Um, and so there's that one there, which has more leaves. And I actually want this one here with the flowers. And let me... So this one, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna want it right here. So let me move. And I'm not sure, do I want it above or below? You know what, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put it above the line. So there's this line here, and I'm gonna use that to lay it down. Okay, so before I cut it, let me make sure that's where, like that's the pattern that I want. So I have a really busy week this week. So I've got some appointments going on. Um, so I wanna put these boxes here, but you know what? First, I wanna put this lettering down because that's gonna kind of depend on the placement, I think. So I think I want this kind of like right here. And then I have these boxes. And I kind of wanted to sneak it in like that. I thought that was kind of cute. This top line, I already drew that out that's in pencil and I have that there specifically because I have, um, I like to put my prescription that I need to take up there and like my, I'll write in just morning routine. And then I think I'm gonna bring this one here. Okay, so let's move this one up 
just a little bit. And then this, all these like pretty like leaves and the berries make a really cute decoration here. Those decorative elements. So yeah, I like the way that is, unless it's too much brown and I flip this around. Let me see what that looks like if I flip it this way. Ooh, I like that better. I just feel like the colors were a little bit too much of the same and not like mixed up enough. Yeah, I think that looks better because now we've got like the berries with that pink flower. So it's really just a matter of uh, finding the colors and kind of like um, putting them together so they complement each other. You know what I mean? If you find that you have too much of the same color in one section, you kind of like want to break it up a little bit. All right, so I have this big box that I'm going to be putting right here on Tuesday. And that should take up like the whole box perfectly. I like that. All right, so for this particular planner, I use this in a very chronological order. So whatever is happening up here in the morning, afternoon, and then evening. So I do like to keep the boxes within each day so that way I can go ahead and plan accordingly. So um, this is something that I do in the afternoon. I am going to put this today sticker. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to do it like that. So it kind of overlaps the washi strip and the sticker. And then I really want to put some decorative elements down here. My evenings are usually, um, I'm at home. I'm not usually running around. Everything I do is really like in the morning and the afternoon. So I used to write in here my like evening routine and then TV and bedtime and but I feel like it's not something that I really need to do anymore. So I've since kind of changed how I'm actually using this planner and it's working pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna just put this little sticker here, this little box, it's really pretty. It's got a little decorative element on there. And then I have these girls here. I love the cluster of them and I'm gonna put them in the corner here. When I do this particular planner, I'm very consistent with the way that I decorate it. And honestly, that's worked out really well for me. And I'm gonna to try to place it so I don't have to punch anything. Oh, these girls look really crooked. Okay. I'm gonna get thrown off by her. I think that's better. There we go. Better. Oh my goodness. I was on the struggle bus with that one because of the way I think that she's kind of like turned in and leaning. It was just really throwing me off. Okay. So this page is done. I love it. I will draw some lines in here, but I will do that when I'm done with the whole thing. All right. So let's move to the other half here. All right. So here are the stickers that I pulled for this side. All right. So I'm going to start with this strip here because that is going to go over here. And I think I want it down this way. And this one, of course, is not going to reach all the way across. It's going to leave me with a little tiny edge there. So that's one thing. I wish that these did reach all the way across. So maybe I will mention that to Wrong Wrong. Ask her, like, can you make those a little bit longer? Okay, I'm going to put her right in here. She's so pretty. Oh, okay, there we go. 
And then I do have something going on, but I think I'm going to add this first. So this one says celebrate gratitude. So pretty. I love the way that everything just really coordinates so beautifully in this book, of course. And I kind of wanted to, yeah, put it like right there. So pretty. Okay, and then I have something going on in the morning. Like I said, I have a pretty busy week this week. I haven't had a busy week like this, I feel like, in a little while. So I like using these little boxes. They're like the perfect size to write down any appointments or anything you need to get done. Um, and then she did add in these pretty floral elements, which I like these. These are the clear stickers. So what I'm trying to do here is balance it. Now, I do have very specific things uh, like going on for like the weekend. You know, like we all have our specific things that we do. Um, so it's like Saturday evening is always like our date night unless we have my nephew. Um, and then we just, you know, obviously do movies with him. And then... Um, Saturday morning, we you can do a lot of errands and that kind of thing. So I wanted to bring in some of these really pretty boxes, though, and just kind of bring it all together that way. So I'm doing this a little bit differently, but I definitely need to have, like, a list here. So what I'm going to do, instead of, like, putting in a list, like, drawing it out with my stencil, um, I'm going to put it in the box here. This box is crooked. I think I need to just turn the pages this way in order for me to see things laying down straight. It seems to work better, like when I'm doing plan with me's. Otherwise, I always feel like I'm laying things down crooked. It's like I want things to be this way so that way you can see them. But then I always, I always end up laying things down crooked and it's so annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and I wanted it to be just a little bit off. I kind of like when they're a little bit off. I don't know, it just kind of creates a little bit something there that I like, a little bit different. Okay, so here's this box and I'm gonna put this one right here. The way that these flowers are cut, it's like it almost needs to be like in a corner, you know, with something bumped against it. So that's really pretty. All right, so now I'm going to put a box down here. I'm going to use this one. And she is so cute with her pink hair. And I think I'm going to put her like kind of up here. I'm not going to lay it down completely yet because I really like this one better together. I think it's so cute for our like Saturday date night. And I really want this one to be here like at an angle. It's just, it's so cute. Um, so let's see. And then I thought this was really cute. This little onesie box. I kind of wanted a bigger box, but I couldn't find one that I thought was going to like work best. So I think that's cute. And then Friday nights, I usually watch a live on um, YouTube. So I don't know if it's gonna be happening that Friday, but I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, so now I wanna put this quote here. And I think this is so pretty. I just love the colors in here. Don't ever dim your light just because it's shining in someone else's eyes. Oh, I love that. So pretty. Her writing is really cute. Honestly, I'm not as familiar with Amy Tangerine. Let me know if you are. Um, honestly, I just am, like, I know who she is, but I, um, but I just know who she is. I'm not really that familiar. Like I couldn't tell like, oh, that's her work or anything like that. So let me know if you have been following her for a while and what you like. 
about her items. All right, I think that that looks really pretty. So cute. I really like the way that this came together. Let me see, do I wanna bring this one up? I think I wanna bring it up. It seems like a little, like almost white in through here. So I'm gonna slowly pull it off. And like I said, her stickers are um, great with the paper and even I've used other stickers on her paper as well. So, you know, you don't have to just use um, wrong, wrong stickers. Ugh, I don't like that. Here I am again. See, I gotta do it this way. And then I lay it down straight. Okay. Um, you don't have to use just wrong, wrong stickers in her um, planner. Um, like I said, I've used many other stickers and they've worked out wonderfully. So never had that problem. All right, so everything is decorated. I'm so excited. I love the way that this turned out. It's so pretty. It's bringing me like into the fall mode and fall started or will start because I'm filming this early, but it starts, it starts the 22nd, I think. But believe it or not, I think one of my planners has it in there on the 23rd and I I always thought it was the 23rd, so I don't know. I looked it up and I'm like, wait a minute. I think it starts on the 22nd. So anyway, 22nd, 23rd of September, fall <laughs> starts. So I am excited to be getting into fall. I live here in Chicago, so we definitely have the full range of all of the seasons. The trees will start to turn and oh, it just looks so beautiful. And I live on a block that's just like tree covered. So in the fall and I mean, in every season, it just looks so pretty because the trees are just kind of like overhanging and, you know, you drive down the street and it's, it's just really, really pretty. So I really love like my neighborhood. It's very pretty. Um, I do need to draw in my lines. So I'm going to use my stencil here. And this one is from the Happy Planner. And I just like to, I like this. It works really well. It does have the check boxes. So I probably will use the check boxes like in a couple of these, but otherwise I'll just use the lines and it has this like nice blue here that you line it up against the sides of the box. That way you are making some straight lines. Now it doesn't take up the whole box. So you sort of have to figure out how you like want to do it like for instance this one happens to be like a full kind of open box here so I'm kind of deciding where I want that because I think I want to have I think I want it down or maybe up and then I might write in to do on here on the top one I don't know we'll see but and I like to use pencil I don't know, that's just my preference. I have found that when I use a pen, and I probably have to write, I probably have to find the right pen, but I have found that the pen will get on the stencil and then it's gonna go ahead and transfer like onto the paper. And I don't want that, you know, like I don't want that to happen. I've had that happen to me before. So I have since just decided to use um, pencil on here. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, draw my lines in, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I drew in the lines and my little boxes that I will need for the day. And I also wrote in my um, habit tracker area. And I like to use this area for my evening routine. So I like to have a section here to wash and moisturize my face, brush and floss my teeth, and then no late night snacks. So that is the reason why I kind of got rid of writing in my evening routine down here because it got, I don't know, it just, I just started taking up like room down there that I would have preferred to use in another way. And I like the way that this looks a little bit better. So it has worked really well for me. Now, the next thing that I do need to write in is up on the top. I need to write in my RX and put my little checkbox there um, to be sure that I remember to go ahead and um, take this. I've been doing really good. I had started like a newer medicine and I was not really being very consistent with it. It was just kind of like one of those weird things where I have to like take it after breakfast and 
I would just kind of get caught up with what I was doing so I'd forget about it and um, and I need to also take it in the afternoon so it's kind of annoying but I'm getting better with it so um, I don't know if I'll write it in over here or not this one really doesn't leave me any room maybe I'll write it in down here but I like to write dinner down here so I didn't really leave myself um, any room here to write like what I need to get done for Thursday but I did draw some lines down here because honestly Thursday after I do what I have to do in the morning I will probably end up just working and when I do that then I tend to use like my daily or I'll use my social media planner and I'll write in like all of the things that I need to do in that day and then sometimes I'll just write here like work so then that way it just kind of refers that, you know, I'll be using a different planner for my work. Oh, I do have to get a sticker here to put for this week because I do like to do that. So now let's take a look and see if she has a header. I don't think I saw a this week header. I thought that was really weird. But the only other thing I see is like I could use a to-do or... I could use a remember, but I don't want to use the same green. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the to-do. I'll just use the to-do because it is to-dos for the week. And then that'll bring that orange in here. So I'm okay with that. And I think I'll just kind of do it like that. There we go. And I decided not to write in here to-do because, I don't know, it just... It's like, it's a checklist already. I don't really need to do that. I just need to have a, an area to write down what I actually need to do. Just the fact that it's got a checklist already depicts that these are things I need to get done for the day. And I don't know if my list is gonna be that long for each day, but I do like to have it there already set up. And then I do like to draw in lines wherever there's blank white boxes because I need lines. Like, I totally need lines on my planner. I cannot write straight or neat or anything like that without the lines. If I have the lines, then I'm good and things will things will end up being straight. But if without the lines, forget it. It's just like, I don't know what it is. I need to have that structure. So that's just the way it works. And here it is in the planner. I can't believe we're almost at the end of the year. That's so crazy. I've been super consistent with this planner. I have loved this planner and I have used it. Like I, I think this is the first time that I have, like since I first started using my planners, that I have actually used this planner consistently. I have to do some back planning in here. I, I started using my daily. My schedule kind of changed around a little bit. So um, I started using my dailies more on a regular basis and um yeah I haven't really like filled in plus I've plus I'm like a week ahead so that's the reason why those aren't filled out but anyway um yeah I love this I just it's so beautiful so that was the Grateful Heart sticker book it is available now for you to get and I am a wrong wrong affiliate so what does that mean to you all it means is that I greatly appreciate if you click on my link. It does help support me. If you do decide to purchase, then I will earn a small commission. It does not cost you anything extra. All you have to do is click the link and it takes you right to wrong wrong and you do your shopping just as normal. So that's really the difference to you that it makes. Um, I do have a code um, for you to use and make sure that you use that. It's it's a wonderful plan. It is down below next to the link, and then that will save you a little bit of money. So make sure that you use the code because that is going to help you out, okay? So using the link helps me, using the code helps you, all right? So that is how the affiliate would work. But yes, beautiful, beautiful sticker book. There's also another new sticker book that she is re has released with this one. It's called Tis the Season. Let me just show you what that looks like. And that is this one right here. All right, so that way you can go ahead and take a look. These are the two newest sticker books that she's released. And 
gorgeous, gorgeous. This one also, I have a detailed flip through. So there's separate videos for each of these because if you have watched my flip throughs before, I'm very detailed. I would really like to kind of take my time and look at it and, um, you know, do that with you. So those are the two new sticker books that she has out, which are so pretty. And that is it. That's everything for the week. I'm ready to go. I'm really excited because we're going to be going into October. And you know what that means? Halloween. Oh my gosh. So expect a plan with me for decorating at least one of the weeks in October with um, Halloween stickers. And she has a Halloween sticker book. Not sure if it's still available, but it's awesome. And that is this one right here. So this one she released on her previous release with her um, big fall release. And these two are the, the newest ones. So yeah, I am all set with my wrong, wrong stickers for till the end of the year. It's so exciting. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please be sure to hit the like. Um, make sure you're subscribed. I have a lot of viewers that haven't subscribed. So if you could please subscribe. I don't know why um, that is like that, but I think maybe it's just, you know, you kind of forget or, um, but hit the subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when my videos come out and uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this sticker book, of the plan with me, any tips and ideas that you'd like to share with me or any of my other viewers. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye.